of all the one you refer to, which is over 4,000 years old. All right, let's have a look at what you have here now. W what is this? That is a reproduction of a bronze horn from County Antrim. Um, there, are two, there are two like this one in existence. One is in the National Museum of Ireland in Dublin, and the other is in the Ulster Museum in Belfast. They can both be seen there. And this is an exact reproduction. Now, can you play this? I can. Off you go. Okay. I'll play a slow air type sound because this instrument has a beautiful voice. Um, how, how did they make this particular instrument? They cast it using a two-part clay mould with the centre core held in, in position by little bronze and pins. Wh when was this made? I mean, the original. The original was made somewhere between 900 BC and 800 BC. It's about 2,900 years ago, approximately. Right. And they had the casting technology to do that? They had better casting technology than we have now. We found it difficult to reproduce the, what they had made. Well, this one is a bit heavier than the originals and it's not made the same way. It's made using what we call lost wax or sere perdu, which is a, a different technique. Okay, let's move down because we have some more uh, instruments here. That one, if you like, is, you know, it could be a modern instrument. Nothing terribly, terribly unusual to it. But when we look at what's on this table, I'll just leave this one here. Completely different. Now, what, what's next? This one. Now, what's next is this one, which to my mind is the finest of okay. all the prehistoric instruments of Ireland from a, from a visual and an audio point of view. You How old is this? That. This, the original instrument is in the National Museum in Dublin. It comes from County Down. It's approximately 150 years before Christ. So it's oh. 2,150 What was it old. used for? This was most likely a concert instrument. Uh, we have references in the legends of music for healing. It may have been used for that. Okay, let's hear it. It has a very rich sound and a lovely harmonic series. Okay. <laughs> Simon, just think about this. Um, this has not been here. That sound that since sounds before not the heard. time of Christ. That sound hasn't been. Uh, the original one was played very briefly in the 1950s with the National Symphony Orchestra, and I'm trying to find out more about that. Okay. Other than that, no. Now, this uh, next instrument uh, of similar sort of curvature, but used in a very different way. Let's take it in up. In a very different way. Yeah. Now, this one. This is the famous Loch Nashade trumpet. Again, the first reproduction. If you're in the National Museum in, in, in Dublin, you can see the original and it's shaped like that. Okay. See? You'll see it on display in the treasury room. And what was this used for? This was undoubtedly a war trumpet. This was used to intimidate. It was used to lead an army into battle. Now, there may have been a hundred of these in a line and the army may have been 5,000 men. And as they marched forward, these were led them into battle so that the other army would be terrified and the army coming behind would be brave and strong, providing you played the right sound. Okay, let's play a war sound. Okay, now you've got to imagine that there's a hundred of these and there's a huge army coming behind. So here we go. Yeah. I'm terrified. Thank you very much. Now. now, of course, you can use that same instrument 
for playing a beautiful fanfare if the king and queen came into the hall and you can play what we call a shock wave on it which is so loud that it would hurt your ears if, it, if you played it for more than a second or two okay what's this one this now is this is called uh, the mayophone it's the first reproduction of the bacon horn now the bacon horn was found in a bog just outside Knock in 1791. It's made of yew and it's got a binding of bronze ribbon around it. How it's old a very fancy was the original? Thing. The original was early medieval, around 700 AD. Okay, let's hear it. This, this has is, got a reed and it's, uh, if you like, it's modern got, instruments wouldn't be terribly different in some ways. In it? some ways, it's unique because it, it's more like the big trumpets in that it has no finger holes to make notes. The notes are made by the length of the tube. Now, you normally only find that in trumpets and horns, but this is a double reed instrument, a bit like a very early bassoon. Let's hear it. So. Great jazz instrument. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great jazz instrument. Okay, um, finally, let's put that back on here. Yeah. I'm going to bring it to New Orleans. <laughs> right, now, now this, this one, one here, this again is a reproduction, but the original bits are extant. They are, absolutely, and they're hugely important because uh, the original bits that survive are the pipes from here up. There's six, there's actually 11 pipes surviving. Six of them are complete and were found together. And the way they were found, they were found in the bottom of a fullock fia, which is a, like an ancient cooking place where you make a trench in the ground, you fill it with water, and you put in hot stones until the water boils. And then you can boil something like a pig in it, you know. Okay. And there were lots of them all around how, Ireland. How old was the original of this? The original of this is dated, proven at 4,134 years ago. Wow. Which is plus or minus 30 years. It's incredibly important. And you're going to let me try and play this? Please. Now, you, you get to be the first to, to make this sound publicly in, four in thousand more years. than 4,000 years. Okay. <laughs> I hope there isn't a curse on them. <laughs> now, try another one. Try another one. What's really important, what's vital about these, it's not so much the find itself, those beautiful wooden pipes that, that are that age, it's the way they were presented in the find, in, in the fireplace, the cooking place. The fact that it's an actual scale that we're given. It's like a time capsule because each pipe contains a particular note and then we were shown them so, presented. So we, we know perhaps the scale they used, which is different to our modern scale. It's a little different. It's actually quite similar, but we know a scale from that long ago, right. which is absolutely unique in the world. It's fascinating stuff. Simon, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you so much. Thank for you very much. May I mention, yeah. just before I go, um, tomorrow we're having, a, we're having a, a signing in the National Museum of Ireland in Kildare Street in Dublin, where you can see these and you can see the originals, and next week in Kenny's Bookshop in Galway. In Galway. Very good. Thank Simon, you so thanks much. a million. All the best. Simon Aguirre. Thank you. Bye-bye.